What is going on everybody? Nathan here with The Everyday Drinker and today is a brand new episode of What Is That Whiskey Friday? The whiskey or bourbon of choice for today's video is going to be Barrel Bourbon Batch 31. Let's get right on into it. I personally have not had a barrel bourbon myself. This is going to be my first one. I was in the store today when I saw this and somebody was walking in with me walked over to the bourbon section, picked this up and said, this is gonna go real quick. So I thought to myself, why not pick it up and see what it's all about? I've heard mixed reviews about barrel bourbon, how they're overpriced, how they don't stand up to the expectations. I personally just picked this one up for $81. The other ones that were on the shelf that were the seagrass, and I can't quite remember what the other ones were, or uh, at 74, but being a barrel proof and a batch selection, I figured $81 for something that is held to a higher standard, I think wasn't a bad price. So I picked it up and I wanna open it up and try it with you guys. So Barrel Bourbon Batch 31 is a blend of six, seven, 10, 15, and 16 year old barrels. What the newer six and seven year old barrels bring are the sweetness, while the 15 and 16 year old barrels bring that oak presence. And then finally, with that 10 year old barrel, this is what brings a fruit forward sweetness that we as bourbon drinkers are sure to love. If you guys have barrel bourbon, batch 31, or any batch or any barrel bourbon that you have with you, make sure you crack it open, pour one with me, and let's get into the nose. Alrighty guys, let's pop that cork off. Grab yourself your Glen Karen and make your pour. All right, right off the nose. Let's swirl this around a little bit. Let's give it a little smell. Ooh, that smells really nice. Nice and oaky, a little nutty. Not peanut buttery though, like a harder nut. Like a walnut almost maybe. Very, I, I get a little bit of like a vanilla cream. Man, going, like, like I said last week in the, in, uh, the episode, Going from one nostril to the other, you really get a big difference. But in my right nostril, I'm getting a little bit of a tobacco, fresh tobacco, like out of like, not out of a cigarette, but like out of the fresh leaf bag. Go a little bit deeper. I'm getting a little tiny bit of like an apple pie, like a little bit of that apple, like a little bit, ooh, like an apple pie with candied walnuts on top. That's what I'm getting right there. Yes, yes. Kind of minty. It's not like a mint that's gonna blow your nose off. I really like the smell of this. Every time you go in, you're gonna get, ooh, that was like dried oak leaves right there. Yeah, that was dried oak leaves. All right, guys, cheers. Wow. So with this being 111 proof, there's no burn to that whatsoever. A little bit in the back of the throat, but nothing that's gonna make you like die, you know? But right off of the rip, I'm getting a little bit of the citrus. Right off of the rip. Coach your mouth, citrus, right off of the rip. Going back in for the second time, I'm getting a little bit of a berry almost. Not like a specific berry, but just like a muddled up, like maybe blueberry. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, going in for that, again, and getting that berry note one more time. Kind of has like a ginger almost effect on my tongue where like, if you've ever had sushi and you have like that fresh ginger after you have a piece of sushi and it like has that like numbing, tingling effect on your tongue. That's what this kind of has. Not like the flavor of ginger, but it has that like effect that the ginger has that I haven't had from any other bourbon, honestly. Toasted marshmallow, yes. Toasted marshmallow. Not a burnt marshmallow, not a fresh marshmallow. Toasted. Nice, fresh, toasted marshmallow. Yes. Like, there's oak in it, and then I'm also getting like pine needles. I don't know how to explain that, that flavor, but I'm getting like pine needles almost. It's not like pine sap or like, doesn't smell like pine bark. It smells like fresh pine needles, and I'm getting that on the palate a little bit as well. Pretty interesting. This is darn good stuff. This is really good stuff. I'm glad I picked this up. Will I pick up another one? I don't know, probably not for a while, but I'm enjoying this for sure. Kind of like what the smoke wagon had that had a little bit of like 
a white pepper. This has almost like a, a smoked pepperness to it. I'm not getting like a black, I'm not getting a white. I'm getting a smoked pepper. And I don't know what, what that would be. Not cayenne, paprika, paprika. That's for sure, like a smoked paprika on top of a deviled egg. But I don't get any of it, that's for sure. Don't, no, no. Smoked paprika, no deviled eggs. Wow, that's, that is so good. That's so good. Wow. Yeah. If you guys have this in one of your local stores, batch 31, I highly recommend it. Pretty sure this was last year's release for like the autumn time. I highly recommend it though. Really, really good stuff. I have not had something that I haven't enjoyed on this channel yet. And I'm hoping that I don't have to have that and I can recommend stuff to you guys. I will eventually have one on this channel that I don't recommend. I'm not looking forward to that whatsoever, but Feral Bourbon Company, they know what they're doing. Batch 31, if you guys have it on your shelves, make sure you go pick it up. It was $81 for me. Let me know what you guys pick it up for price-wise. But this is gonna do it for What's That Whiskey. Friday has been Nathan with the Everyday Drinker. Cheers.